another note, uh, probably every conference we have, there's new little inventions coming along, new ideas, uh, new ways to package straw, which is what we're going to see here. Uh, there's a contingent of, I believe, about eight people from Oregon, uh, somewhat connected. Seven are connected to StrawJet, right? And one, one knows the StrawJet people. Uh, so watch out, Oregon's attempting to take over some turf. So we have some turf battles going on. Uh, but no, I think we can get along great. But so, I'm sorry, but I don't know your Mark. Oh, you're Mark. Oh, yeah. Well, you today. Uh, anyway. I like to wear the Mark just because, you know, it gets everybody going. So. Anyway, they're going to explain some of this right here, and then also they got a machine outside to demonstrate it. So we'll at some point go out and be watching some of this happen. Yeah. Um, just real quick, uh, everybody. Uh, good morning. My name is Mark Weir. I'm the Chief Operations Officer for Strawjet. We are based in Talent, Oregon, which is right near Ashland. So we're right there on the border with California. Um, as Jim pointed out yesterday, we can see you guys. So we, we see you on a regular basis. I'm originally from San Diego, so I went, uh, I'm Californian by birth. Um, what I want to do is go over the Strawjet system with you. Um, I'm going to kind of move fairly quickly. So if you guys uh, want to stop me at any point, just go ahead and, and haul around. You will notice there's a, quite a few of our team here. Um, we introduced ourselves last night. They're wearing green straw jet shirts, so you can just go and harass them. They're really easy. Yeah, sure. There's free straw jet shirts for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> not, that, not in that, but it's not in the budget. So let's go over. Um, let's you know, talk about straw jets real quickly. Why do we build a straw? Well, you guys have already figured that out. So I'm not going to go into that. But what we do is we take... Um, at Strata, we take any sort of waste agricultural product, um, so our waste byproducts, and we go ahead and we manufacture that into a building material similar to, um, to straw bales and so forth. What I do want to discuss briefly is we are trying to kind of change, and we're part of a new paradigm, which is socially responsible businesses. And it's really important because there's an economic side to it and there's the ecological side to it. And that's really one of the things that we're focused on is trying to make, um, to get people to be more equitable in, in businesses and so forth. So instead of being a, you know, going out and, and making a bunch of stuff that's not really equitable, we want to make something that people feel comfortable with. So the Strawjet system, how do we do it? Well, basically what we have is we start with um, waste agricultural product. Um, you guys are all familiar with rice straw, but we actually use, we can use a number of different products. So we can use Tabasco, tobacco huts, we can use, uh, Jerusalem artichoke, palm fronds, basically any sort of long uh, fibrous material, and we can go ahead and run it through our system. It makes it a little bit uh, yeah. more applicable to different different avenues around the world. So if you if you don't have rice straw, you can use something else in the system. Yeah. Have you ever tried to start thistle? I don't believe so. No. Right, John? We haven't tried to start thistle. Yet. No, but we California. Yeah, there's we actually have. Uh, it works fine. Any of the foam core can be used really well for insulation. Yeah, we've done sunflower, we've done um, Kemp, I mean, you name it. We've, we've, we've tried uh, quite a number. And we're always willing to try new things. So if you have something that you think, oh, this would be great to run through it, let us know. We'll go ahead and do it. Pompous grass, yeah. wonderful. That would work well with marijuana, the shade. <laughs> we'll get into that in a little bit. Um, <laughs> Compress using, what we do is we have a, uh, we call a cable machine, which is our biggest piece of our equipment, and that actually takes and compresses it and wraps it, turns it into a cable, Strawjet cable, which is an example of Strawjet cable that's been covered in a plaster, okay? So it comes out, we'll go into exactly what that looks like. Uh, we then take those cables and we wrap them together, and you guys will see some samples, but we wrap them together into different building members, so we call them quads and hexes and tribes. But we can basically make these different conformations, and that adds to the rigidity. And then um, we take the different building members and we go ahead and we build different buildings with them. So this is kind of just a diagram of the Strawjet system. You got your, your weight there in the field or whatever. This is an example of the cable engine, you'll, or cable machine, pardon me. Hand fed, it's, yeah. It's right outside here. It's actually trailer mounted. It's very easy and portable to move. It kind of takes a whole lumber yard and turns it into just something that you can pack on the back of the trailer. That's the way we like to think about it. We take that and we wrap them into the different quads and so forth. And then out of that, we can develop some really neat building materials. One of the things we'll go over in a little bit 
is how the Strawjet system allows you to build curved walls really quickly and easily. So again, this is the cable machine. Um, we won't go into all the little parts that are in there. That's what makes it um, patentable. <coughs> That's how we got a patent for it. This is actually the cable machine in Malawi. So we actually took it to Malawi in Africa and ran it there with tobacco and river reed, um, which they have a lot of. They have a huge deforestation issue there. And I'm sorry? And maize. And maize, pardon me, thank you. Mm -hmm. And maize. And um, one of the things I like about this slide is this machine, we were able to take and send a team over there and train a group of villagers that, that you know, were not familiar with this kind of industrial equipment at all. And they were able to utilize it to build something in a period of weeks. So it's really fantastic uh, technology because it's relatively simple. It doesn't require you to you know, have a PhD to operate it. It's, it's a simple mechanical process. This is a, the, what we call a multi-wrapper. So it actually is what transforms cables into the, uh, the building components. We'll go over in a second. And this is just a picture of it so you know that we actually built it. It's actually, we have it on, in the white tent outside. We actually have it in, uh, depending upon how the weather is and what we get a chance to do, we'll let you guys go and you can play with it and, and actually see how easy it is to operate. It, it's, uh, we call it a multi-wrapper because it, can, it has different dies that we can put in here to make different structural members. So we can make hexes or quads or tries based upon switching out the dies that fit in there. One of the components of our system is a bobbin winder. Um, we actually had to develop a special bobbin winder because the way that these bobbins come when we get the, the material that we wrap in, it's these giant bobbins and we had to transform that down. So we developed uh, custom bobbins and then we can wrap them. So part of the Strajet system that we didn't bring is, is the actual bobbin winder. So um, yeah. what, what are we using? What's the, the twine? Well, we can use. Uh, theoretically, we can use any, any sort of twine. Traditionally, we use either uh, a nylon or we use, this is hemp, and we can use a hemp. We're actually in, in doing some experimentation now with different, different twines um, in, in the system for wrapping them. But we could theoretically use anything. We've talked about using Kevlar, or, I mean, you name it, we could use it probably. So you can change how you're going to put the structural... Uh, for the engineers, it's like 2,000 an hour, anything above, and uh, we can go to a mill or two right now, and uh, anything that's available, doesn't matter really what we use, and we've been doing all our development with what the manufacturers would give us. <laughs> yeah. So the Strawjet building members, so that now we talked about what the system is, here's what we have. Um, we start out with a cable, all right, so I have some examples here, and then we have some Examples out there. So it's just a two inch uh, diameter cable, and we take and we turn that into either quads, which are four of them wrapped together, so four inch by four inch, or we have this hex mechanism, which was kind of a neat little development that we used a lot in Malawi when we did our budget. And then we could cover them with natural plasters or stucco or, or any sort of plaster that you'd like. So here's again the cable, uh, it's two inches in diameter. Um, you know, we can use palm fronds, wheat, Jerusalem, or 